Hi, welcome to Make Thrift Buy, a show where you guys send me clothes from the internet and I try and recreate them. Today's challenge was sent in by Jenny Pepper, who suggested these melting tights from Herb Clothing, which are handmade, latex, and retail from $55 to $80. Now these tights are by an awesome handmade designer and if you can afford to, you should totally go and support them. But if you're anything like me and there's no way you could spend $55 on a pair of tights, well, maybe we can make this for ourselves. So let's give it a go. So I started out with a pair of sheer tights that match my skin color and this three-dimensional fabric paint that I found on eBay. As soon as I saw there was glittery paint, I had to have that one. But there are non-glittery types if that's not your thing. I also got myself a large piece of cardboard, which I rolled up into the approximate width of my leg and I stretched one leg of the stockings on over the cardboard and I started painting. I basically just did these big long drips down the length of the tights in what I thought looked like a melting style. And then using a paintbrush, I tried to blend the paint at the top of the tights because, well, that's what the ones from Herb Clothing look like and I'm trying to recreate them. With one leg done, I set this outside in the sunshine to dry for a few hours. Then, it was simply a matter of removing the tights from the... Wait. Oh. It's stuck. It's totally stuck. So the cardboard and the tights have dried together, and now they won't come apart. About an hour later, I finally managed to release the tights from the cardboard, but unfortunately, a lot of the cardboard came with it. And I almost gave up at this point when I discovered that scrubbing the cardboard off with a wet cloth seemed to do the trick. So I saved them and I was back on track. For the second leg, I was smarter and this time I put two coat hangers together like this. This ensured that the tights would be stretched and also that the opposite sides wouldn't stick to each other. For this leg, I took it outside, clipped it onto my washing line so I wouldn't get paint everywhere and then I did the same dripping paint technique as before, except that I didn't blend the paint at the top this time. And again, I let the tights dry for a couple of hours. So, this time, they easily came off the clothes hanger. But, it was at this point that I realized, mm, this was probably not such a good color for dripping tights. It looks like blood. And I don't think that having blood dripping down your legs when you're a girl is ever really gonna be a look that's in vogue. Also, another massive fail was where I tried to blend in the paint at the top of the tights. This stopped the tights from having any kind of stretch to them. So I couldn't actually get this leg onto my own leg. I'm just gonna go quietly into the cupboard of my other failed DIY projects. So with my new knowledge of what works and what doesn't work, I tried this out again on a fresh pair of tights using some lilac paint this time and the coat hanger method. I slipped the tights onto my coat hangers one leg at a time, painted in this dripping kind of fashion and I let them dry overnight. And this time, it worked. Well, okay, kind of. I mean, they don't look anywhere near as good as the ones from Herb Clothing, but I mean, they're really not that bad. And because I stuffed up so many times, the price was getting towards the original price of the tights. But if you didn't stuff up as much as me, and you bought three-dimensional fabric paint in single bottles, then you could feasibly make this for under $10 and it would be totally worth it. So, my conclusion? Heck yeah, you can make these yourself. They're not going to be as cool as the ones from Herb Clothing, but I still think they're pretty effective. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, because that really helps me out. Happy crafting, and if you have any more suggestions for clothes that you've seen on the internet that you'd like me to try out, then just let me know by leaving a comment below. And I'll see you all next time.